You know, ECU upgrades have become the holy grail for gearheads seeking that extra punch of horsepower, better fuel efficiency, and a bit of bragging rights. It's like giving your car a digital superpower boost, right? But folks, there is a twist in this tale that even the savviest car lovers might not see coming. Welcome back to Car Computer Exchange, where we're about to spill the beans on a topic that's been rubbing up engines and igniting debates in the automotive world. Yes, you guessed it, we're delving headfirst into the dark side of engine ECU upgrades, unveiling the risks and consequences. In recent years, engine ECU upgrades have gained popularity among car enthusiasts, promising improved performance and enhanced driving experience. The Appeal of ECU Upgrades Welcome to the fast lane, where we're about to dive headfirst into the electrifying world of engine control unit upgrades. Strap in, because this isn't your ordinary car talk. We're talking about the sizzle behind the stake. Picture this. With a few clicks and some lines of code, you can transform your car from a mild-mannered computer into a roaring beast on wheels. ECU upgrades promise to unlock hidden potential, and that allure is magnetic. It's like having the keys to a secret room in your house, filled with untapped power. What makes ECU upgrades irresistible? It's the triple threat promise. More power, better fuel economy, and reduced emissions. Imagine having a car that not only goes faster, but does so while sipping fuel like a frugal tea sipper. It's the automotive equivalent of having your cake and eating it too. The buzz around ECU upgrades is real, and it's not just for hardcore gearheads. Even prospective car buyers are planning their ECU upgrade strategy before they've gotten their hands on the steering wheel. It's like picking out the perfect outfit for a party you haven't been invited to yet. That's how exciting the prospect of enhanced performance can be. But before you jump headfirst into the world of ECU upgrades, a word of caution. Not all cars are created equal, and not all are ECU upgrade friendly. It's crucial to select the right vehicle initially, one that's ready to handle the power boost you're planning. Think of it like choosing running shoes before committing to a marathon. The right foundation is essential for success in the upgrade game. Real-Life Horror Stories Buckle up, this is where the road takes a dark turn. Not every ECU upgrade story ends happily ever after. Once upon a time, in the world of ECU upgrades, there was an owner of a Volkswagen Amarok. Fueled by the promise of more power, they decided to take the plunge and remap their ECU. But here's where the story takes a cruel twist. When trouble struck and the engine faltered, the dealership pointed the finger squarely at the ECU upgrade. It was like blaming a Shakespearean tragedy on the ink in the playwright's quill. The financial toll of such an ordeal can be staggering, with repair bills that could rival the down payment on a house. But it's not just about the money, it's about the emotional roller coaster that comes with it. Imagine the heartache of seeing your four year old $60,000 paperweight. It's like waking up on Christmas morning to find a lump of coal in your stocking, only much, much worse. Alright folks, before we dive any deeper into the turbocharged world of ECU upgrades, here's a little pit stop for you. Have you ever considered giving your car an upgrade under the hood? Or are you sticking to its factory settings and enjoying the ride as it is? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's see where you stand on this turbotastic debate. Car Manufacturer Accountability Here's where things get murky. ECU upgrades can turn car manufacturers into magicians who make problems vanish, but not in a good way. Aftermarket ECUs allow car makers to wash their hands of responsibility when trouble strikes. Engine or powertrain failures? Nope, not their problem anymore. It's like a magic trick where the rabbit disappears and you're left wondering where it went. Let's not forget the legal maze that awaits those who dare to pursue warranty claims. Trying to prove that the upgrades voids your warranty can feel like navigating a labyrinth blindfolded. Lawyers, expert witnesses, and hefty bills. It's like being in a courtroom drama where the odds aren't exactly stacked in your favor. 
The Dangers of ECU Hacking Think of ECU Hacking as a high-stakes poker game. The odds might not always be in your favor. Meet the sellers of aftermarket ECU chips. Do they really have your car's best interest at heart? Or are they just in it for a quick fun? Do they have a test track and a team of engineers? Or are they tinkering away in a sketchy industrial unit somewhere? It's like taking medical advice from a self-proclaimed doctor on YouTube. The results can be unpredictable. Sure, they can pump up the power or save you a bit of fuel, but it comes at a price. Reliability and admissions. Prepare for some compromises. It's like gorging on dessert and expecting it to be calorie-free. Wishful thinking indeed. Legal and financial consequences. Let's be clear, courtrooms aren't the playground you want to be in. Pursuing legal action can drain your bank account faster than you can say lawsuit. Remember, the only people who consistently win in court are the lawyers. You might end up paying more in legal fees than for your car's repair. Proving warranty violations isn't a walk in the park. It's like trying to prove that the neighbor's dog dug up your garden. A lot harder than it sounds, legal battles can turn into a financial sinkhole. Here's a tale of one man's struggle with a Ford Ranger and an aftermarket champ. The car salesman painted a rosy picture, assuring the owner that the ECU upgrade would avoid the warranty. It's like buying a magic potion that promised to make you fly but left you firmly grounded. Misleading claims can lead to heartbreaking disappointments. But when things went south, the car owner reached out to Ford, hoping for some accountability. Instead, they were met with deafening silence. It's like sending a message in a bottle and never hearing back. Companies should be responsive to customer concerns, but that's not always the case. Moral Responsibility The automotive industry isn't all revs and roars. There's a moral compass to consider. Selling ECU upgrades alongside cars? That's like a conflict of interest you'd expect from a soap opera villain. Car salesmen should be helping you choose the right car, not upselling you on risky modifications. Companies need to step up and take responsibility. It's like hoping Santa Claus will bring you gifts on your birthday. A little bit of ethical magic would go a long way. So there you have it, the fascinating, the frightening, and the flat-out wild world of ECU upgrades. Buckle up, folks, because this ride isn't over yet. ECU upgrades might offer a tantalizing taste of power, but it's essential to navigate the treacherous terrain with caution. As we wrap up this high-speed journey through the world of engine control unit upgrades, I hope you found this turbocharged discussion both enlightening and entertaining. Remember, beneath the allure of the ECU upgrades lies a complex landscape filled with potential pitfalls and surprises much like the twists and turns of an epic road trip. If you've enjoyed today's adventure and want to stay in the driver's seat for more insightful content on all things automotive, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for the Car Computer Exchange channel. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on our latest escapades into the fascinating realm of cars, tech, and everything in between. So, until next time, keep those engines running. Stay curious, and may your road be paved with knowledge and good times. Thanks for riding along with us here at Car Computer Exchange, your passport to the automotive future.